The opening of the 13th UN General Assembly brings Secretary Dulles, Ambassador Lodge, and new U.S. Delegate Marian Anderson to support Lebanon's Charles Malik for president. He's locked in a close contest with Mohammed Ahmed Magoub of the Sudan, who has strong Arab and communist backing. Secretary Dulles casts the U.S. vote. When the ballots are counted, many delegates are surprised. Outgoing President Monroe announces a thumping 45 to 31 victory for pro-Western Dr. Malik. With President Malik presiding over the 1958 session of the assembly, the delegates hear Secretary Dulles urge creation of a standby United Nations Peace Force. President, first we conceive of the Peace Force not as a combat force, but rather as a group that would observe and patrol and by its very presence make visible the interest of the world community in the maintenance of tranquility. Every aggression is a threat not only to the fragile barrier that stands between us and a general nuclear war, but another setback for the human aspirations of mankind. May we not hope that if only the minds and the efforts of governments were to be concentrated more fully upon the welfare of their own people and upon creative tasks of universal import, then the issues that divide the world may fade away and the Cold War become a thing of the past.